not what you expect when you come to Dubai. We've just been kicked out of the beach. Oof. <laughs> Guess who's back? Guess who's back? It's quite a spark this week. I'm here in the Emirates for my first time in my life and hope not the last. We only have two days here and we thought we could have some time to explore Abu Dhabi and also Dubai but we don't know if we will have time to visit everything for sure not because today we woke up at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. no it was 11 a.m. when we should have woken up at like 8 a.m. We are now at the Founders Memorial and it's 40 degrees Celsius outside it's 12 a.m. It's pretty much hot. Founder Memorial commemorates the late Sheikh Sayyid bin Sultan. Sayyid bin Sultan. This is a monument uh, commemorating the birth of the nation and its founders, because it's the Founder Memorial, I guess. All the, the trees you see behind me are traditional trees from this region or trees that have a very big significance for the country and it's pretty nice but it's very hot we are we are trying to enter the uh, the monument is it possible is it ah way? it's it's that, that way yeah okay. there we got the great hotel of abu dhabi which i don't know its name <laughs> i don't even know if it's a hotel but yeah that's my level of information about this country apparently in order to enter the museums here it's not enough with three doses of vaccination but they also want a PCR to enter the places so <laughs> I guess we are not going inside while in the rest of the world vaccination doesn't matter anymore you don't even require to to wear a mask inside and stuff here you also have to have a test in addition to your vaccination so yeah kind of funny We are inside this climatized bus stop where you can cover yourself from the extreme heat and we are going to wait here for a bus or maybe a taxi because I mean the palace we want to go is just a few meters upright but we, we just can't walk anymore. I mean look at my t-shirt and my trousers. He's wet too. Yeah. So apparently to be able to just see the palace we have to pay the 16 euros and we are not doing that we are not paying we Sheikh. and we don't have like Sheikh bin Sayed we, anymore <laughs> we don't have money i mean we have more we do have money but we don't have time so i guess we're just going to the big mosque i hope we can enter that one yeah we think that's the palace we just wanted to get you know a nice view of the palace take a few pictures but we have to pay the entrance fee and and we are not doing that What you see behind me is the Great Mosque of Abu Dhabi, probably one of the biggest mosques in the world. However, we've come here, we've paid another, another taxi to get to this place, and apparently we also need a PCR to enter this place. It's not valid with vaccination, not valid with free doses, as I said. You need a PCR to enter the mosque. So I guess this is it for Abu Dhabi. <laughs> probably the worst city I've ever been in a long time in terms of being able to visit things without first dying of heat, second being able to actually enter. So we got enough of Abu Dhabi and now we are heading to Dubai. Let's see if we are able to do something there and we don't need like 300 PCRs. We just got to Dubai, now we have to walk to our hotel. It's not too far and it's not too hot either, so nice. We don't get in Europa Ignis. I got a bit lost because this is in the part of the souk and the directions weren't clear but I think now I know. We are in a guest house which is at the same time a Nepali uh, restaurant 
we believe we are in a neighborhood which is very let's say multicultural there are, you can see many like restaurants from india pakistan uh, also nepal and some other nationalities we got a bit lost back there in the souk but now we arrived to our accommodation and yeah this is our last day here in the emirates so let's check out what's good <laughs> This is really not what you expect when you come to Dubai, like expect big and high buildings, but this is just like the older part and it's more charming, there's more people in the streets. I kind of prefer this one. Check out the Dubai Metro. Probably one of the best we've ever been to, especially compared to Barcelona. We left the subway like six minutes ago and we've been walking for a lot of time just in order to get there. It is so nice because they have this all covered so you don't have to go into the heat and they have these big 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 tunnels or like corridors where you can walk under the air conditioned and get to the mall without having to suffer and here we go. We are now waiting for the... I was saying we were waiting for the Dubai Fountain Show which is supposedly going to happen in a few minutes It happens every half an hour and we got ourselves a nice spot to watch it Here's something, I haven't eaten in like the entire day. I just ate like two bananas and a few grapes. And we've been looking for a place to eat, but everything is so full. So I think we are going to the beach and see if we can find any place there. But first we gotta find a taxi and it seems quite, quite difficult here. You're here at the beach, we are very hungry, but there's no restaurant open yet. We will keep searching. This is another thing. Here you can find more things open, not as back there. Let's see if we can fill our stomachs. We've just been kicked out of the beach after two minutes swimming because apparently this is a private beach. You can be on the sand, but you cannot swim, apparently. So we have to go to another beach, which is like 10 minutes walking. Thank you, Dubai. Thank you. Good morning from Dubai. We slept over again and now it's 11 a.m. 
it's 41 degrees outside and it's humid as hell. <laughs> the plan for today is to visit the older part of Dubai. The one we, we visited yesterday, but we didn't get to see it all. We are now going to try to cross the river and let's see what happens. Museum, but it's also closed. And now we will try to go to another one as we enter the oldest part of Dubai. We've just been to a gallery called Masjid Gallery. It was beautiful. You could go there for free. And it's, it is a place where you can buy uh, drawings and it's very laid back. The lady there who explained us a little bit about the history of the place was just wonderful. So it's a very nice place if you are visiting old Dubai. And now we are in Al Fahidi, which is the oldest part of Dubai, as I said before. And we have these very old buildings all around. In theory, they wanted to demolish this part when they started building the modern Dubai. But after the visit of King Charles from England, they kind of convinced the Emirates to not to do that and to conserve this because it is part of their heritage and their, their DNA in a sense. of wall is one of the last memories or last pieces of the wall of the old city of Dubai. The rest has been either restored or uh, preserved but with few changes this was the original and oldest wall of Dubai. just been to the coin museum it was also free and you have some exhibitions of some coins it is not too big but it's nice I mean they have AC so it's a nice place to relax a little bit that's insane yeah we are now eating at our hotel for tonight which as I told you it's also a Nepali restaurant and it is everything is so cheap here compared to the place we were yesterday it's just heaven We've come to our last stop in Dubai. We have our flight in about two hours, but we couldn't leave this place without visiting the Dubai frame. The Dubai frame is a very good idea to visit in Dubai if you want to see some great views, but you don't have the money to go to the tower, the Burj Khalifa tower. Here you can still see some things. It's not, it is not as high, but 
still works. The entrance fee is about 13 euros. And Matias is quite scared because, because it's a glass elevator, but we'll be fine. This side here is modern Dubai, but when you turn around, this is old Dubai. That's the end of our Dubai trip. We are now at the airport, waiting for our next destination which is gonna be quite epic you'll see in a few weeks thanks for watching see you soon